Hi, uh, my name's Ian. Uh, I go for uh, I go on the boards and stuff as Hard Return. Uh, I do some photography stuff, and uh, I work for MMC and Ocular Max. Woo! Um, hi guys, my name is Matt. Um, I'm usually on. Wow, that's too close. I'm usually on uh, the boards and uh, Twitter and stuff as uh, Shinji McNally, but I never post anything, so there's no point. <laughs> right, so, and I don't actually work for anything. I'm just one of those jack of all trades. So. Get a job. <sighs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I work with real robots, and they're really not as fun as fictional robots, so I'm just going to say that. So, um, welcome to the third party panel, everyone, and I hope you enjoy. Should we start? Yeah, let's start. Let's start. Okay, we're taking too long. Okay, guys, we're going for a 3A first. So, yeah, so this is going to be 17.5 uh, inches. Yeah, this is the premium scale, not the deluxe scale. Uh, has anyone got the Bumblebee that they made, the deluxe scale Bumblebee? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good toy. They're doing a similar scale one for the Blitzwing as well, but this is the premium big F-off scale one. Yeah, this one's going to be really, really big. And it's, as you see, you can even see that kind of posing is ridiculous right? in the best way. Yeah, that looks like CGI. Mm. I, I had to double check these slides to make sure they were real. <laughs> yeah. So we've got some LED function, I think. Yeah, it's got uh, light up thrusters. Cool. So yeah, guys, pre-orders for this should be hitting in July, which is technically this month. <laughs> right, so moving on, we got Banana Force. Banana Force? Banana Force? Depending on... Yeah, okay. Mm. okay. Banana. So as we've seen with these guys before, they're doing their red sharpshooter, which is... Um, they're adding like a, what seems to be light functions. I assume the red stuff is die cast. Yes. So these, um, these guys don't actually transform, they use a frame, and then you put the armor on top. So this is uh, RID Prime, essentially, or well, RID Car Robot, depending on what your fancy is. So uh, these are actually on display in the Chosen Prime booth right now. Yeah, so. they're really nicely painted. I'm very much hoping they do a black version, because oh, I want yes. a black fire convoy. Oh, yes. And then this is their Magnus. So yeah. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> He's also on display. You love your rail guns. I, I love my rail guns. It's the thing. You have those huge rail guns, I'm sold. <laughs> and they also combine. So the combined form is on display again in the, cho in the chosen prime booth. Now. So the, the next one then is going to be their version of Die Atlas. And oh, yeah. I love the fact he comes with the Z. Like, he comes with the actual Z, which is a... Uh, that, 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 that's hitting me right there, guys. I, I love Zone. I, I love Zone. I just got to go into that. Right. So this is H, uh, half the battle toys. What's the other half of the battle? Um, I suppose buying them. Oh, yeah, 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 you got to make them, then you got to buy them. You know, it's the halfway there. <laughs> so uh, he, pretty much half the battle. Uh, this is uh, an upgrade kit for the Jinbao Gravity Builder set. So it's to make him a bit bigger, make him more stable. Uh, it's also got uh, custom print, uh, printed heads with uh, LEDs and stuff that really, it really brings a bit more life to it. <laughs> yes, uh, there is an Etsy shop, which uh, if you just type that in, it should pop up. Right, so yeah, the, this, this one's really cool. Uh, so they're going to be doing, yeah. <laughs> It's a G.I. Joe thing, right? Yeah, it's a G.I. Joe thing. Okay. Is this the wrong convention? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. It is actually meant to scale with the regular G.I. Joe figures, so that's going to be really nice and would be able to have a driver. And it'll include micro-sized G.I. Joe figure driver with Destro. Yeah. Which, if he stores in the chest when he turns into a robot, will just be pressed up against the glass, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> He's not quite a cassette, but you know, if he's a little stuck, no breathing heavily, right? Yeah. Just fog up. <laughs> okay, so we're back back to Nornif, which does some very nice stuff, as we know. So right, we got got ones for Siege, Red Alert, and Sideswipe. So the really cool cool thing 
but this is coming with both missile what is it, articulated cannons, removable missiles, so that's kind of cool, you know, really changing it up. And yeah, blaster effects compatible. So yeah, you get an option with choice, which is really nice. I do know some of the ch some of the choices do sell out quickly with color, so you may want to when it goes live, you know. <laughs> yeah, non F makes them and they sell, and then that's it. Yeah, I missed out on the rocket pack last time. I'm still kicking myself because every side swipe deserves a rocket pack. <laughs> so we we got some uh, null rays, right? Yeah, null rays for your uh, seeker. No pins in the chest still. No pins. <laughs> Doesn't Clint, pins not included. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this is making my day. This is completely making my day. I'm a big side swipe guy, so yeah, this is oh. <laughs> the yeah. G, the G2 AF uh, oh, accessory yes. pack. Yeah, it comes with everything. If he's not armed to the teeth, you know, he doesn't scowl because he's edgy. He scowls because he's lifting things so heavy. <laughs> 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 hernia. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. So, we're going to go down the legends hole. <laughs> so we got McCoy, which is going to be their Ironhide, which is very. Oh, he he looks nice with jazz hands. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, oh no! If you watch, bring your own spirit fingers. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That that's an episode of G One they missed. <laughs> so you got Miller, which is their ratchet, and if you notice the chain, the option in head as well, so you can go with redhead ratchet, non-redhead ratchet, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> and he has a scolding finger. Yes, he does. He's like, I needed that. Oh, no, wrong ratchet. <laughs> yes, probing finger, this is absolutely. Pro yeah, because proctology, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's in your tailpipe? <laughs> That's a blockage. Sorry. <laughs> right, Riddick. Ooh, so I know, right? So anyone, any of those Diaclone fans out there, this is, ooh. And it just pops, right? It just pops, really nice. Still also, but this one comes with two probing fingers and spirit fingers. <laughs> Finger guns. Yeah, he goes pew pew. Right. Insecticons, yes. So these guys, uh, well, everyone loves Insecticons, let's be honest, who doesn't? Yeah, they're pretty good. So they look really, really nice, really articulated. Uh, there are going to be clear versions as well, but it looks with translucent plastic. Could match the Cosmos, Jazz, and a couple of the others that they've already done. Yep. <laughs> and gee, and yeah. troop building. Yeah. If you want a swarm, you can literally make a swarm. That's, uh, uh, that's going to be dangerous for my wallet. Yeah. And because these are small, they look further away than the Masterpiece ones, so... Yeah, you could actually have them right next and yeah. completely change your view site. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so this is set A, which is, um, as you can see, which is the ARC console for Teletran 1 and one of the repair pay tables, which, gotta love that orange, right? Ooh. And chairs. Everyone likes chairs, right? You gotta be comfy. But um, one looks remarkably similar to a certain monument. Yeah. Yeah. I can't quite place it. Ah, well. <laughs> nice. So as you see, they scale very nice. He's very taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, but if if he turn if you know if the if he's not red anymore, that's when you worry. Yeah, that's when you lose him, Doc. Oh yeah, so we got some consoles with set C for relaxing at home. Yep. Oh, that's what the chair's for. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there, because obviously <laughs> we're promoting the chair, right? <laughs> uh, I assume ah. theirs. I don't think so. No. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Factory. Okay. So, th they're tall, otherwise known as Dubby? Dubby. Dubby. Okay, forgive me. <laughs> Uh, he's on display at the moment. Very nice figure. 
as well as the Voss and Kaon, who is also in display right next to him. Electrical chair if you really want to torture someone. <laughs> Snipers. So Alcade, which I'm trying to remember his actual name. It's Helix. Is he, he Helix? Yeah, it's either Helix or okay. Yeah, yeah it, it's those two. I never remember. Yeah. <laughs> so he's quite good. He also on display. So many hands. He has so many hands and fingers. Really articulated digits, which is really nice. Well, on the big hands, not the little hands. Okay. He turns into a thing. Turns into a. T <laughs> no, it turns into a punch tank. Yeah. <laughs> it's a. It's a punch tank. Okay, this is the other one. <laughs> Marek. So as you look, each gripper is individually articulated as well, which is really, really nice. And they have some good strength on them. I've been able to like hold stuff up with them really nicely. Like a beer? Not a beer, but other figures. All right. Legends figures, preface that. I've lost interest. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. Ah, uh, it's him and the boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get those 3D printed cold ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay, really nice to action pose. So this is Optics Hunter. He just got released, actually. Uh, he's, he's on display, but he's also, if you can find him in the dealer room, this guy is amazing. So that's their hound. Very, very nice. Then we have their hex wrench, and I will say, this guy, uh, uh, I, I've, I haven't shut up about this guy this whole weekend. <laughs> so good. He's very good. Very good. And then their one, mini one-man army, which <laughs> is, <laughs> is their cliff jumper, which is also on display right now. He is brilliant, I will say that. Uh, granted, this is personal bias coming through, guys, because, yeah, so good. And adorable. Okay, so we have Sonic Wave. He's on display as well with all three of his modes. <laughs> Heat Death. Because yes. dragons. It's, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. It's a robot and it's small. Yep. And it's adorable. Right. City Commander Final Battle Armor. This is great because it's one, it's a beefy Magnus and it comes with Minimus Ambus, which is amazing. <laughs> You cram that robot, the little one, in the bigger one, and that's how it works. <laughs> it's like, imagine a puppet, but a little more work. <laughs> All right, Planet X. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> yes. All right, uh, yeah, you've been waiting for this one a while. This is their Mars. He is their War for Cybertron Ironhide, which is, this is a good, he's really good. Really, right. he's on display at the moment, at, outside. And then this is their ratchet, which is again really, really nice. Uh, yeah. I, I, what I really like with this line as well is that weapon, even though it's big and cumbersome, is a full replica from the game. It's pr pretty much straight from it. And I'm glad they're still carrying on with this line. Oh yes, yeah, because and it. Works. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In post. <laughs> So as you see, they, they look really well together. Like, it look really, really nice. And obviously, interchangeable weapons as we go. Yeah. Yeah, I really like those. And you see, when you get the group together, they, they, that, they just look amazing. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> right, Civil Warrior. So yeah, this is a... Pretty much, this is an equivalent to um, uh, War Within Prime. Mm -hmm. So he looks quite nice. He's going to be 20 centimeters tall. Transforming. Yeah, transform. You know, LED chest and 30 points of articulation. He looks pretty. And he, he really gets the proportions from the Dreamweave artwork, which is kind of impressive when you think about it. <laughs> okay. Tran Project X. That's a mouthful. Yeah. It's like three different companies kind of name. Yeah. That's going to get awkward. Right. So yeah, this is their Beast Commander. Yeah. No. 
He's going to be uh, 25 centimeters tall and estimated at sometime in 2020, depending on manufacturing. So. Subject to manufacturer delays. <laughs> so the light on's nice. That, that does look nice. Ooh. <laughs> Fan stores. Thank you, yep. children. <laughs> Remember this guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to check that it said 2019 on the slide. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Acoustic Wave is back in POG form. <laughs> but yeah, this is an updated, uh, it looks like a much less greebly version of their uh, Acoustic Wave, which was announced back in 2013 or 14? I think so, along those lines. Yeah. It was the first, it was originally going to be their first, or I guess second toy after uh, uh, Quake Wave. Mm. No, no, yeah. the trailer. Oh, after the trailer, yeah. The trailer yeah. So this was going to be the first one, and then uh, Takara Tomi was like, mm, no. Nah. Uh, but now they're back, and uh, they looks like they smoothed out the design, and they've got some uh, animals crammed in his chest. And very much animation style proportions as well, which really, really, really yeah. looks nice. So yeah, as you can see, that very animation style. Yeah, it's so compact. Uh, it's a thick box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's laser beak. Yeah. Um, it, it's one both. of them. It's both. Awesome. So this settles the argument. They're not red or blue. Yeah. <laughs> Frumble is gray. <laughs> so and there's the little kitty. The mm -hmm. ravage. So yeah, that, that cleans up very nicely. If you are concerned about where you put the tapes, they go yes. in there. If not, I'm sure someone will make an instructional video. <laughs> oh yeah, this audio format. For a lot of younger people in the audience, this may get awkward very quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but who's this? I wonder. I wonder. I don't know who it is. Yeah, I'm completely lost. I, I will be honest. I, I, you're going to have to tell me later, though. Oh, we'll figure it out. I know. Maybe. I think it's enough photos. Right. So. <laughs> Remember Berserk? So. Someone's back. And From cleaner again. Oh, yes. No dates on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So, but yeah, it, no, no, go for it. Go for I, I just like that they seem to have cleaned up the design a little bit. Oh yeah, and what we'll see going forward as well that it's clean. Like when I mean when when we say clean, like mm -hmm. that is where, where's the tank kibble? Where's the tank kibble, guys? Mm. Like it's ah. Oh. So yeah, that's that's a really nice profile. That's that's just. Oh, it's the jet kibble. Okay. I don't know. I know. It's magic. Seriously, I need to see what kind of sorcery these guys use. Okay. Spindrift 2.0. Oh, yeah. He's did, back. With did you buy the first one? Did anyone mm. buy the first one? <laughs> Go. No, this is 2.0. He's back. More animation accurate, more mm. tubby. Let's go. Aquatic hero dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love the little details that he has, like a console inside his feet. Him and that's and how he skills. Who's that on the left? Oh, I'm, I, again, I'm lost. They keep throwing these curveballs at us and we don't know. <laughs> it's very mean and inconvenient. 
So, uh, yeah, someone's excited. So this is Jing Zhang. Now this is, yes, this is Winged Dragon. He is actually on display currently. And, oh, he is glorious. Look at that pectoral meat. Yes. Like, it looks like they just ripped the animation model. It's really, really nice. <laughs> so, really, really nice. And Everyone's favorite action pose? Yep. <laughs> Especially with the face, too. That really works, right? <laughs> So what's really great with this guy, he, is, he comes with five different expressions. And considering Transmetal 2 Megatron, yeah, well, me any Beast Wars Megatron, as we know, is... Yes, you, know, you get the expression, right? He's emotive. So, yeah, yeah, very emotive. Uh, mainframe. And he does also come with effect pieces and LEDs to actually light them up, which is really nice. Oh, yes. So the posability on this thing, very, everything is articulated from the claw, all the claws are articulated and oddly sharp. <laughs> so you, and it's both LEDs as well. It's not just one LED shining through the plastic. You actually have red and blue LEDs in the mouth. Also change for the turbines. Individually articulated claws. And the neck is all articulated. So good. Look at that. So is the tail, or the ponytail, depending on how you transform him. <laughs> so it does come with the effect parts. Looks really, really nice. Right, so height-wise, this guy is huge. So 30 centimeters, just uh, foot to to head, and then 40 centimeters from foot to talon? That's the talon? Okay. Not a doctor. I don't know. Also, wingspan is impressive. <laughs> so we got 70 cm just across. This guy's gigantic. Yeah, so good. And he does have his, his other mode, which is kind of cool. Fans hobby, right. Oh, Lightning Eagle. He is currently on display, otherwise known as Thunder Clash. Do you like color? I like color. Oh, some colors is good. So yeah, he's really good. And he also, what, one thing I really love about this is he recreates the power base from the original toy in that thing. And it's even got like how it just splays out in that weird angle. It's great. Sorry, if anyone from the UK or even parts of Canada had this toy as a kid, this is just ticking every single box for me. <laughs> it's my girl. Ooh, Athena. So Athena, which is their maneuver, which is, she's great. Absolutely great. Uh, scaled accurately, scarily enough. It's just the other guy, like, <laughs> the god armor is just so big. I love that all mode. Yes. It's smooth, cleans up very well. Not to mention, uh, you get the, uh, the Headmaster tech readout in the chest as well, which is like that little extra from, the, from back in the day. Right. The black version of the god armor. Yes. Uh, this is also on display, and so is Athena as well, both on display currently. I love the fact he comes with swords. I just, I, I got, you get swords and bows make any figure better. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. And that's him combined up then. And that's ridiculous in it, size. It is. Together. Yeah, I think we're on about between this guy and the red dragon in regards to the biggest piece in the case <laughs> at the moment. But no, really great. And it is sturdy. Like this thing is solid in the best way. Now the more familiar color. Yeah. Which still, still comes with swords, which I like. It comes with a new head. Yeah. And also, what it's, if anyone is a fan of Master Force as well from, from back when, 
you are able to store figures inside the chest as well when he's combined. So if you want to go whole fire guts. <laughs> uh, So they're the same. I believe they're the same molds as the ones that come with the Headmaster Juniors, but the black one specifically is going to have different decos on those. So uh, the black god armor will have uh, three figures as well, but it'll also have uh, three different color versions of that because it's the black one. <laughs> okay. So then that's that combined up. Which, oh, that's pretty. And this is the new one. Yes. Oh, yes. Look so, how much he bends. Yeah, the articulation, honestly. And I love the fact it's the whole atom punch from Micron Legend. <laughs> or Amada, if you're from. The, I can see people cheering in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, really, really stoked for this guy. Really, really can't wait. Yeah, Bendy Prime is fantastic. <laughs> one of the really good uh, primes from that era. Oh, yes. Right, so X Transbots. This thing's gorgeous. Oh, yes. I picked this up uh, uh, this morning. Yeah, at the Toy Dojo booth. Yep. If I'm right, he's available at the moment. I still believe we st they still have them in stock? Yeah. Okay. This is a continuation on of the G2 uh, uh, Stunticons. I, he looks great. The color scheme just works. It pops in all the right places. Uh, this guy as well, rubber tires, which is a really big thing. Really, really nice. And that's him scaling with MP Blue Streak. Uh, <laughs> you can see the rubber from here. <laughs> it's a really nice color scheme. Scaling for alt mode. And that's him then next to their version of break, Breakdown. Yeah, Breakdown. That is Breakdown. G2. G2. G2 Breakdown. Which I do they have the I think these are available or they they were if they have any left I'd be surprised yeah yeah so they look clean up very nicely Professor Eisenberg <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to cook <laughs> so uh, Tyrant's Blade. So if anyone is a big, bit more of a fan of the Japanese style Megatrons that came out, uh, or even the reissues that started coming out, Megatron Sword was great. It got used in a couple comics then afterwards, like War Within and a few other things. And the chrome on it just matches. This is on display at the moment in, I believe, Chosen Prime? I think it's at Chosen Prime, yeah. This yeah. is to go with the, uh, the toy version of the Masterpiece Megatron. Yeah. The, the chrome blingy one. Oh, yes. So it's just do, make sure you don't have any disco balls or like any big light sources because it'll just blind you. Also, <laughs> don't touch it. Fingerprints everywhere. Yes, wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mastermind yeah, Creations. Fine. I think they're excited. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Burbs. <laughs> so this is the Deadpool that was out there uh, this morning. Uh, I think it's gone at this point. I think they sold out, yeah. yeah. Um, usually they pop up on Planet Steel Express afterwards. Very possibly, yeah. Yeah, sometimes they do that, so be mindful of that if anyone's still interested. Yeah. But this oh. is the uh, version of Shattered Glass Drift that uh, was part of the... Botcon thing? It was, it, was a, it was a collector's club. Collector's club, yeah. yeah and they lovely. said it was uh, based off of Deadpool, so now there's a red version of the MMC Drift that's based off of Deadpool. It all makes sense. What's really good with this is as well is it comes with the gun from their Deadlock release and all the swords from their Drift release, so you get a lot of accessories and changeable heads. So mm -hmm. kind of get a good bang for buck in this instance. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, see, that a really nice Deadpool head and a Figma stand. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't jump by himself. <laughs> no Tomashi stages here. <laughs> and this is Eberus. Uh, this is Guzzle. Yep, Guzzle. Yep. On his, based on his, uh, lo his uh, last stand of the Wreckers appearance, if I'm yeah, correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's really, really nice. And speaking of Last Stand of the Wreckers. Oh. 
tattoos. <laughs> that, that poor boy. Yes. Explains what happened afterwards. <laughs> so yeah, it scales really well. Um, if you have, have any of the other MMC records, look absolutely amazing with them. Mm -hmm. And then Gra Gravis. Yes, this is his mold mate. Otherwise known as Braun. Oh, went a little too quick through that. Take a look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going into the remix tapes. Yes. Oh, yes. So. So. Yes. What could they be? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> so, guys, we're dealing with here motif, tempo. Pitch it and forte. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there's motif. Motif. <laughs> And there's them all together. And yeah, the, uh, the two brothers look fantastic. I love the look of them. Yeah. And I like Ra just Ramhorn's just so angry about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder has been the bad kitty. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to put him away. <laughs> just don't trust Hound with the keys. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> The Art of Transformation. So we're going into the uh, MMC's Oculomax Max line. It, it's a meme. Yeah, it's a meme. You did good work on that one. Thank you. <laughs> That's had me chuckling for a while. Yeah. So yeah, this is their um, Zinnia Medic, which is an exclusive to TFCon at the, currently. Uh, they do still have some left at the booth mm -hmm. that I'm aware of. Yes. I say this now, I do apologize if they're not. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, pretty much their version of the Panadron Medic. Paradron. Panadron. Something. I, can't I don't know. I did, well, knows? it blew up. I can't remember it. Paradon. <laughs> yeah, Paradon. There we go. Oh, poor Sandstorm. But yes, I think they gave her a name of Lifeline at some point. Oh, that was fun, but never mind. Mm. Okay, as you see. <laughs> She's caring for poor Sphinx there. Um, Took a shot to the gut. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to go invisible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, oh. imp this is Impetus, which is uh, Vortex. So this is gonna be part of their combat concept. Really, really nice. Really got that animation look as well. But what's no? Oh, it's uh, it's all built in. So yeah. everything that you need to make the arm is part of the combiner. Uh, it's you know you're not having to swap out hands or anything like that. So he's there to give you a handshake. He's there to say he's number one. But you know he's just there for you, all it, together. You can have him as a desk bot and really annoy your coworkers with some gestures. But you yeah, know it's great. <laughs> Fully can flip you off. Oh, very yeah. much so. <laughs> and here he is with his uh, little buddy, uh, Frodo. <laughs> and they're on an adventure, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we gotta get rid of this ring. No, uh, <laughs> he tried to sell it. He's the, uh, he's the swindle uh, of, the, of the series. Uh, and he it turns into a foot, I mean. Yeah. yeah, cleans up very nicely as well, and also gives him the wheel on the back, which a lot of, yeah, that, that's a nice touch. Again, with these, everything built in completely, no parts forming, you just connect five of the figures together and you're done. Like, mm -hmm. that's phenomenal. And all his weapons that are on that little stand can plug into the back of the leg as well. Yep, so a really good storage, which is always nice, so you know, and no zip blocks being thrown around the place. <laughs> And that's and it for this That's year. it, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. So, yeah, thank you very much for coming. I hope everyone is going to enjoy the rest of your conve the convention. Uh, remember, the, there's still a silent auction going on at the back. And buy toys responsibly, kids. <laughs> no deal. <laughs>